Hey. Look at this shit. Where is it? Gamescom. We're watching Gamescom. I didn't know this was on. We're watching Gamescom. What is this? They got some fucking World of Warcraft shit going on. And I didn't know this was happening until I just realized that people are uh, double streaming the shit. Light. Save my soul. What the fuck? Save my soul. Oh. Artorius? Artorius? Hey. What is that guy's name? Arthur Artorius? What the fuck's going on? I didn't even know this was happening until just now. Well, what is this? I'm a Pandarian. Hey. I'm a Pandarian. What is going on? To Bastion. What the fuck is the game's count? Bastion? Like the the robot? A truly selfless life. What? And for that, you have been chosen. chosen. Oh, nice. Selfless. To shed your mortal burdens. Shed your mortal burdens. Ranks of the ascended. Ooh. Serving to ferry the souls of the dead unto the Shadowlands. Ferry their ass cheeks to the Shadowlands. Of light. Bury their ass cheeks to the Shadowlands. There is no evil here. There's evil. The darkness was sealed within the Maw long ago. You're wrong. The Maw. He destroyed my home. Hey, tell everybody that there's a Gamescom. Wait, what? Am I murdered? My king? You are an aspirant now. You must accept your new purpose. Aspirant? What is an aspirant? Is he like a Nephilim? What I desire is justice. He's like a Nephilim. Oh shit, he desires justice. Alright. He desires justice. Quickly, quickly. Why are you training this soul? Why are you training your station as a paragon? He cannot paragon. He continues to demand retribution for his death. And this concerns you? Many souls take eons to ascend. Yes. Yeah, but he's fast. This one seems broken, Thenios. Unlike any soul I have seen. What do you mean broken? I've begun to wonder he's just fast, bro. Worthy of Bastion. By mistake. What do you mean, Thenos. mistake? I Bitch, I'm a paragon. Hear such a thought. I'm a fucking archon. Whoa. The shit's buffering. What's going on? Hey. In time. Trust our ways. Trust the path. Trust the path, bitch. This is sick. I don't know what this is, but there's some World of Warcraft shit going on and it's tight. Devos. Devos. How long must we train? Until How long? Oh, why are we here? Just to suffer? How long must we train? <laughs> why are we here? From us Just to suffer. Nothing but the memory of your mortal life. Oh How no. Can I forget? I need my memory. I can still feel his yeah. blade in my chest. Heal me so I can finally Your be an ascendant. Is wounded? Oh, his Who soul's been stabbed. Damn. He was my student. My he own pupil. He Shut stabbed me. Anakin Skywalker. Oh, Anakin. Ah, why? <laughs> Yeah, 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 whatever, dude. I'm Darth Vader. I don't give a fuck. And then Artorias puts that shit in his blade, and he's like, Bitch, I'm the champion of all time. Suck a dick, noob. Stupid, dumb, stupid idiot. Oh, what? what? Runes on his blade were unmistakable. This dark yeah. agent runs free he's killed him. mortal world. Artorias. The power of the maw itself in he called that dude a noob. Our realm is imperiled. Near to well. The maw is inescapable. Nincompoop. Nimrod. Another good one. We never would have known of this calamity. The calamity? Path is flawed. The path is not flawed, you idiot. Don't you ever talk shit about fate. Right. You, will abandon you have to write this. Course. You have to fix As this. We can't let fate get destroyed because you're stupid and incompetent. Go fix it. <laughs> I like this already. This is tight. Uther. Uther. That's his name. Uther is the guy who gets stabbed. Has come. Nice. I thought 
I was not ready. This is so tight, dude. I might play this. Or, uh, it's in the animated series. I might play WoW, though. Damn. Look at that. Oh, man, look at that shit. It's just like, um, what is that shit called? Heroes of the Storm. Isn't Uther in that shit? We will claim him. Artorius is blade broken. Artorius is slain. Yep, that's what happened. It's an animated series though, so it looks like fucking Metalocalypse. Oh, that looks so sick. Look at that. Look, look at the detail on his face, bro. I see. Artorius' side of the story. Oh, you might get to hear Artorius' side of the story. Damn, this shit is buffering all day. What is going on? Twitch's server fucking going nuts? What's going on? The shit's half angel and half face of Ortorius. Oh Only shit. Darkness. Darkness. For me. So he's consumed by hate, yeah. He's consumed by hate. Hey, this is sick. Now cast him into the maw. Return cast him in the maw. Oh no. Oh no. It's just like, um, Soul Reaver. Legacy of Cain. Throw him in the fucking maw. Get rid of him. Raziel gets thrown into the fucking Soul Siphon or whatever. Justice. Justice. And then he drops him. Oh, just like fucking Heihachi drops Kazuya off the side of a mountain into a volcano. Oh, damn. Uh, that's gonna take a couple of Tekken games in order to fix that. Warcraft. Shadowlands. I might play that, bro. Look at my Pandarian hat. I might end up playing that. Pre-purchase now. Mmm, that looks tight. That looks tight. I don't know. Alright, hope you guys enjoyed that exclusive look at Bastion. Now, we know many sick. of you can't Bastion. wait to experience Shadowlands. And Shadowlands. And Blizzard want you to know the wait is almost over. It's almost over. Shadowlands. That's tight. I might play WoW, dude. I don't know. This looks fun. 1027. Oh shit. Make this shit big again. Enter the Shadowlands. Oh. 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 Feast your eyes. Look at how nice this looks compared to WoW Classic, dude. Look at how good this looks. Oh. oh look at that. Oh man. You're shitting me, bro. This, this looks too tight. Hold on. This was kind of impromptu. I was hyped. Oh, it's buffering again. It's buffering again. I was hyped. I was so hyped, I didn't even fucking turn the light on. Oh. It's paused so I can catch it. There we go. Oh, come on, dude. What is going on? It's not Fs on my side, is it? No, I have zero drop frames. It's not my internet. It's literally just their fucking stream. It's not my internet. But it was doing that so I could fix the stream. It gave me a, a moment of respite. Oh, this looks so good. Dude, I've been wanting to play WoW again, and this seems like a good time to jump back on board with the release of Shadowlands. This might be a good idea. I want to play WoW. I like WoW. I realized I like WoW when I started playing WoW Classic, when they released that shit again. And then I got to level like 40-something, 50, and then I stopped playing because all my friends stopped playing. October 27th. It is official, and we have so October much October 27th is the day, man. Still to go for you. Ratchet That's the day. Clank, Ratchet and Clank, uh, PlayStation 5. All right, but now it's time for the announcement and Clank. of a new universe that is coming to gaming for the first time with a project from a Canadian studio. Check oh, this shit. Out. I'm excited. Oh, stop buffering, dude. Don't be a hoe. I've returned. That has to be their they stream, corrupted. right? Divided. I don't know why it's doing that. Until finally. Oh, come on, bro. You're killing me. You're killing me, bro. Warhammer? Okay, it's a Warhammer game. Gasket Games. I'm glad that they slowed down the trailer so I can read. <laughs> come on, dude. Do I have to make this shit? What the fuck? It's going nuts, dude. Shit's going crazy. <laughs> PowerPoint? It's new slide. Next slide. Okay, people in chat are talking shit too. Lag F. F's in chat. Lag, lag, lag. Lag anybody. <laughs> okay. It's not just me. 
<laughs> this shit is broken in a slideshow. <laughs> okay, we're good. 2021? Oh man, that looks great. That looks like a great game. It's not just me. I can't even tell what the game looks like because this shit was a slideshow. Fact, I had some masked fun. <laughs> oh god, bro. The fucking whole game's calm is getting blown up right now because the stream is trash. Oh no. Crash Bandicoot, everybody. He's where? Oh shit! Ah! This shit is so busted! <laughs> this shit is scuffed, dude! This whole fucking game's calm is scuffed! Oh, I'm so glad that I started streaming this. <laughs> I'm so glad I started streaming this shit. Oh man. Look at how fucked up Gamescom is. Oh yeah, oh, bust the move and then immediately start fucking <laughs> lagging. <laughs> this shit sucks. This isn't hype at all. Okay, he's walking into an airport, I think. Oh, no. Robot legs? He has robot legs? Oh, Gamescom robot? Oh my god, dude. Shake this man's hand. Oh, did they bump it? I think he bumped it. They bumped it. Tell us more about what we just saw. I'm joined by Lou Stuttert from Toys What the f Bob. fuck is uh, going on? This shit is lagging so bad. We saw a lag. Good job, guys. Stutter. Feels lag, man. Oh, man. F, 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 lag of the year. <laughs> Chat is going crazy. It, they said it fixed itself. They, fit, they said it fixed itself. Is it fixed now? They fixed it. They fixed it. It took them forever, but they fixed it. Okay, we're good. We're good. They're kind of these devious puzzle rooms that we've made. And they're really hard. All right, they fixed it. I can't wait for a new crash. It's just that the, the stream was all fucked up. It's good now. Oh, look at how good the background gameplay is. Shut up. Stop zooming in on the sky. I want to see the gameplay. Sure, so players actually have to collect the flashback tapes in the levels themselves. Flashback tapes, uh, so you can go back to older levels. No, not Fs again, dude. Come on. I was actually interested in Crash Bandicoot. Could you please? Please fix your stream, Gamescom. Oh, these guys fucking screenshot this. This is an emote. <laughs> these are emotes for the stream, dude. <laughs> His face! That's a future stream emote right there. I'm editing that shit today, dude. This face right there is Grimace. <laughs> this shit sucks. Oh my god, is he doing a break dance? Oh no. This is Gamescom. Oh, this shit is trash, dude. Is that seriously just the stream? Hold on, let me check chat one more time. Let me check chat again. Stream is looking like a Bethesda game. Dead. Only thing that's crashing is the stream. <laughs> I want Overwatch too. <laughs> oh no, dude. F. F's in the chat. This shit is busted. <laughs> Gamescom is fucking cursed, dude. This shit's hacked. Nobody's gonna find out anything about Crash Bandicoot. This dude's been talking for 15 minutes and nobody's heard a single word he said this whole time. This shit's killing me. Oh, man. I feel so bad for this guy. He's probably putting his heart and soul into this pitch for Crash Bandicoot so people buy the game and shit because they're watching Gamescom and it's a big event. And nobody knows a single fucking thing he said unless they go to YouTube after this. <laughs> Look at the fucking screen. <laughs> I can't make this shit up. My luck is so good, dude. I just realized that people were streaming this and restreaming this. And then I started restreaming it. And as soon as I start restreaming this shit, it goes crazy. And it starts being hilarious. <laughs> this shit's awesome. <laughs> Hey, can we get to the part where you talk about Crash Bandicoot and it's cool? Oh, get to the cool part, man. Hey, I can hear his voice again. Come on. This shit's busted. It's not just me. Let me refresh. It's not just me. There's no way it's just me. 
This shit is busted. Trio, Disney Plus, Hulu, and ESPN Ad break. Plus, oh, Twitter, what the fuck, boo. Ads, boo. What the fuck. Raid Shadow Legends 2. Dead game. Game is dead. Fortnite 3. Hold on. Shit is busted. Let me refresh this whole thing. Oh, fuck your ads, dude. How do I have ad block and you guys are making me watch ads? What the fuck is this? Oh, this is that soccer game. Hey, it's that soccer game. I remember this. Markman. Um, Markman from the Tekken team. Namco Bandai was talking about this. Is it a Namco Bandai game? It is. Of course Markman was talking about it. Okay, okay. Let's watch something that doesn't suck. Hey, here's the Warhammer thing. Okay. This is cool. This is like Fallout Tactics. Except in the Warhammer universe. I'm playing this. Yeah, I could. I could shoot the tail off of a Lashworm. I don't want to say immortal, but when their armor, blood, skin, and will are of iron, it's a potent combo. Why would someone like you want to know about an all-female gang of I'm playing this. Drug this is like um, Shadowrun Returns. This is like XCOM, dude. This is like Fallout Tactics. This is sick. Oh, no. I refresh, dude. Come on. No whammies. Don't hex me. No whammies. No. <laughs> I'm being hexed. No. It's 242. That's my lucky number. You can't hex me. Oh, come on. Check chat again. Borderlands. Sleeping face. Next. Skip. Terrible show. <laughs> Borderlands sleeping Discover face. Exactly oh my are. god. Another advertisement? Shattered How is this possible? I have ad block. Oh, I have ad block. I have ad block. Philip. Philip, please. Okay. They somehow teleported forward in time again. Breaking more and more paradigms that have blah blah being used more. I envision the future of gaming to be quite Lamar Wilson. Right hey. Quite online. The next yeah. generation of console will clearly allow AAA Julian Cheese to build more creative driven games that I hope will cover Julian more Cheese. diverse subjects. I want to play all kinds of stories about people and places McDonald's? Both real and imagined. I want comedy games, I want autobiographical Yeah, comedy games, games are tight. I really want to see what people can do with the media. Proof of yeah. those games, eu vejo uma evolução obviamente gráfica, mas eu vejo Vinici gráfica. <laughs> if the gráfica is not good then I do not want to play thank you I'm not really a graphics guy I don't give a shit about graphics it seems like all these other people care about either some shit that doesn't matter like graphics or they just want more diverse titles in the space which I agree with we should have more diverse titles than just shooters all the time oh my god <laughs> one of the things I love about opening night is that we can show you stutter freeze oh come on this shit is whack. Hold on. Hold on, dude. Oh, come on, bro. This shit is so fucked up. Get ad. I'm gonna make sure that this shit is working because for some reason it keeps giving me advertisements. All right, cool. The I just biggest read. games oh, in the there industry go. and also there go. smaller it's titles that should be on your radar. So right. Pay attention to this next game. It comes from a team of two in Sweden, Tuxedo Labs. Over the past three years, developer Dennis Gustafsson has built his Gustafsson. own game engine to realize his vision for a fully destructible game world. What Whoa, he's building has I like fully destructible. Away, so I asked Dennis to prepare a special trailer just for tonight. I like fully I hope destructible. You're equally inspired by the ideas in this next game, definitely. Red Faction Gorilla. Hey, tear down. I like Red Faction Gorilla. Hey, show me this game. I'm in. I'm down for whatever. Oh. Oh, shit. Oh, Red Faction Gorilla. Look at all the shit you can break. 
Oh. Oh, it's all bricks and shit. And blocks and shit. Oh, bam. Damn. This is Red Faction. Oh, shit. Oh, damn. You can drive cars through buildings? Oh, shit. Hold up. Put the fire out? Oh, what the fuck? Hold on. Prepare an efficient path? Oh, you can shoot the fucking... Oh. This is like Minecraft if it had physics. Like Half-Life. This is like what Half-Life 2 wanted to be. Oh, this is nice. This is a great um, proof of concept. That's what they call these types of games. This is a great proof of concept game where you prove that the ability to break down an entire environment without using too much uh, resources as a developer is possible. So now other games are gonna try and implement this engine technology and the ability to completely create a destructible world in their creations. And in turn, they're gonna make more destructible world environment video games where you have to blow shit up in order to solve problems. Oh man, this is a great stepping stone for the industry. And also, this is probably gonna be really fun. Look at how cool this is. Check it out, he got away on the speedboat after he did all that cool shit. Oh man, tear down? That shit looks super tight. I'm playing that. All right, when this stream works, this is a good idea. Last year at opening night live, we announced Little, Little Nightmares, Nightmares 2. Hey, I just got well, done with one. I just got done with one. We can play sense, two. But that changes right now. We can play Here two. Here is a first look at the gameplay two. of Little Nightmares 2, which is coming next February. Next with February. More to come throughout the week at Gamescom, including a live demo on Gamescom Studio tomorrow. Little Nightmares 2. Oh, I'm excited. Hey, we beat the first one on stream not too long ago. Bandai Namco. That's the TV. Fuck the TV room. That whole room sucks. I hate the TV room. Okay, so there's a different kid now. And he has a trench coat and he has a bag on his head. Nice. You're still tiny. Oh, you help the homies. Okay, I like this. You don't eat people. Oh, two-player cooperative gameplay. It's a two-player adventure. Oh, at least two characters. Maybe it's not two players, but you have a follower. Look at how you, yeah, you uh, lead the guy like RuneScape. Oh, break a bear trap? Whoa. Whoa. Catch the guy when he's falling? Okay, so this is very in line with the series. This is very on brand. Oh, there's the, the raincoat wearing one. So you find different homies as you progress through the story. And this game looks like it has a lot more mechanics. Look at that. You fight, like, shine the flashlight at the uh, mannequin in order to stop the mannequin. So it looks like there's a lot more in terms of the mechanics that they've implemented. There's fast traveling. There's melee combat. You have to actually fight things in this one instead of just being a passive observer. You actually have the ability to fight now. There's a lot more in this title, in the second version of Little Nightmares than the first one. And I think this is what they're trying to do the first time that they made a game. But now they have the funding to do the thing that they wanted to do in the first place. So Little Nightmares 2 is a definite must play. We gotta play this shit. It's February 11th. So uh, it's the second month and two ones makes 11. So don't forget, Little Nightmares 2, February 11th. Jerry the King Lawler. Wrestling. Whoa, wrestling. Is this wrestling on your phone or some shit? Oh, this shit suck. It's on your phone and it's probably lagging on purpose because this is boring and whack. Hey, refresh this bitch. Wrestling? Yeah, this shit's whack. They look too cartoony. Yeah. They look too cartoony. It's not as cool. He said finish him. They're just ripping off of Mortal Kombat. This shit sucks. They're trying to rekindle the energy and the excitement that they had originally when they used to make wrestling games they used to make the characters look cartoony and it used to be hand drawn or like sprite based a lot of it was um carty cartoony looking because of the way that they rendered the characters into the game 
I believe they got some help from Ed Boon because they wanted to do a realistic looking 2D fighting game. But now they're trying to rekindle that Hello, energy man. with bullshit 3D models, and it looks ugly. Right so, it. fuck that the game. That game sucks. I want realistic-looking game wrestling games or no again. wrestling games. Watchdog Legion looks tool. Or right, cool. I said tool. It also looks like a tool game, but it also looks cool. You can spray paint cops and shock them with defibrillators. Okay, this game's tight. Never mind. I'm playing Watchdogs. You can spray paint cop. Star Wars Squadron? Okay. Oh, you play as a TIE Fighter? So they just made TIE Fighter again. Cool. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Who cares? I play as a spaceship and I do cool spaceship shit, and that's not even gameplay. That's just some trailer. I don't care about the trailer. Operation who? Oh, this is just like a weird version of um, Deathloop. Oh wait, this is a two-player hacking game. There was another one of these I played on Steam that was like shovelware a long time ago. So it's a better version of that. All right, all right, whatever. The winner of best indie game. Whoa. Curious Expedition. Whoa, what the fuck is this? This looks awesome. Curious Expedition. Huh. That looks cool. I hate portals. Oh, okay. This is like an actual RPG, like Boulder's Gate. Gamescom 2020 is the heart of gaming, and you can keep to the beat right here on IGN. Hell yeah. The single biggest show in gaming into Gamescom is sick. Oh, but it Gamescom lags all the time. Is your virtual show floor with up to the second live coverage. Gamescom, Gamescom is tight, but it lags Gamescom's all the time. first ever late night talk show. Our Gamescom awesome indie show, the freshest deep cuts in indie gaming. And finally, all right, all right. Indie games. I like indie games. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Come so on, dude. I double checked to see if it was Joe. me. I'm not uh, displaying any Fs. Including the Gamescom Award. Gamescom 2020 is available on IGN and wherever you stream Gamescom now. Cool. And then and it just cuts to him. Talk about that best action game winner, Star Wars <laughs> and then it just Squad. cold cuts to him and he's not even paying attention. His phone combat. is out. Motive Studios that delivers the ultimate uh, Star Wars <laughs> squadrons. Fantasy. We've missed those. In squadrons, you'll suit up and fly for both the New Republic and the Galactic <laughs> this shit is sick. across intense 5v5 multiplayer battles, as well as an all Yeah, yeah, we all know what you were doing. We all Star saw Wars what you were doing. Six. Yeah, you smiled Jeffy. about it. We all Today, saw that shit. We'll He's just like, what? Is my turn? Oh, yeah, squadrons, man. Whatever. Some light Single player mission. By the motive team. Go back to the gameplay, man. Get the camera off me. <laughs> Did you see his face? He's like, go back to the gameplay, bro. Squadrons, bro. Whatever. Just roll it. Roll the fucking tape. Man, they need to get me to be one of the announcers for Gamescom. It'd be way more fun. I'd be doing jokes like that on stream the whole time. Man, go to the gameplay. I don't give a fuck. We all want to see Star Wars. Don't fucking pan to me. <laughs> God, it's just fucking lagging. Hey, refresh this shit. Oh, it's a commercial. There's just no way you can ad block parry the commercials anymore. Even the commercials are lagging. Hey, <laughs> I think Twitch is just going nuts because everybody's trying to watch Gamescom at home. So Twitch is going insane. Usually there are people in person trying to watch Gamescom, you know? So not everybody is online trying to stream it at the same time from Twitch. Now everybody's online trying to see this shit. Gladly, Admiral Sloan. Over the course of the story, you'll fly as There's 90,000 people watching this one stream. And like all modes in Star Wars Squadrons, you'll okay. have the option to experience every mission fully immersed in VR. Whoa, VR Star Wars? Okay, this is actually cool. I'm the fucking Star Wars pilot, bitch. I'm the rebel elite. Behind enemy lines. I am the rebel pilot. Whoa. Agent Thorne has discovered vital intelligence on the Rebel Alliance. Something, something, Imperial Elite. Your mission, is to extract her from an orbital Your mission if you choose to accept it, is to stop lagging Gamescom, you motherfucker. 
<laughs> you son of a bitch. Oh. Oh, look at that gameplay. Oh, that looks hella tight. Okay, fuck all that in-game trailer shit. That pre-rendered trailer bullshit. I don't give a fuck about that. Look at this in-game gameplay. Ooh. That looks good. Ooh. That's the TIE Fighter experience that people have been looking for for a long time. This is going to rekindle a lot of the ways that people felt about Star Wars TIE Fighter. Oh, this is good looking. And now there's going to be X-Wings and all types of shit that you can fly, not just TIE Fighters. Oh, the Gladius. Oh, get up in this bitch. Look at the 180 he just did. He just whipped around and did a fucking U-turn. Ooh. This shit's sick. I love Star Wars flying games and space combat. Oh, you can go to light speed and get the fuck out of there. In VR, dude. This is all in VR. So you're going to be able to sit in the cockpit with your hands on the fucking guns. Like, turning your head left and right. Looking for fucking spaceships around you. Doing fucking whips and turns and barrel rolls and Star Fox shit. Going to be whipping it. It's going to be sick. I can't wait. This shit looks tight. Hold on to your hats. The story of these rival squadrons will push the war to the brink and define the galaxy for years to come. Define the galaxy? Oh, this is sick. All right. This is a Star Wars game. This isn't any bullshit. They're not bullshitting us. This is some real Star Wars shit. I look forward to seeing you in combat October 2nd. October 2nd. Okay. It stopped lagging right when the fucking thing told me when it's coming out. Pilots wanted October 2nd. So October's going to be a really busy month around uh, here. Around any Envy Enterprises. Mega City 4 2069 is going to be popping around October. They got fucking World of Warcraft coming out and shit, and this, and all these other games that look tight. And they're supposed to be giving me information on Ratchet and Clank. Hey, world premiere, Ratchet and Clank. That is not all EA has to share from a galaxy far, far away. <laughs> Did you today. see his At face? At Star Wars Galaxy Edge, you can enter the world of Batu, where you can visit Bogus. This dude is tight. I like this guy. Run to Millennium Cove. Falcon on the run to Smuggler's Cove. Resort at Walt Disney World Resort that inspired the Sims' latest game pack. Check this out. He has to remember the weirdest sentences I've ever heard in my life. Millennium Falcon on a run to Smuggler's Cove. If he said that shit wrong, he would have got fired right there. Can you imagine the shit he has to remember? It's all on a teleprompter, but he still has to like present it properly. So you just have a Sims lightsaber now? You have a Sims Star Wars move? Okay. I mean, what is this supposed to be? Tatooine? This looks like Tatooine. Okay. Aw. Patoonie! <laughs> Patoonie! <laughs> Bro, is that a slur? Did she just say a slur? Oh, shit! <laughs> okay, the Sims is tight now. I don't even like the Sims, but this is sick. Hell yeah, the cantina. Can they not do it because of a copyright? You gotta remake the scene in fucking The Sims, come on. What? I need a pilot? Is that what she just said? I need a pilot. Oh shit, everybody getting down? Star Wars lightsaber battles? In The Sims? Oh, Kylo Ren. Kylo Ren. Whoa. Nice. You can just change all your shit straight to Star Wars assets instead of having to make a new house. Nice. Okay. The Sims is cool. Again. Sims 4. Journey to Batu. So it's just on Batu. It's not Tatooine. 9, 8, 20. Eh, whatever. I'm not really a Sims guy. It's just a DLC for The Sims. But for people who like The Sims, that's probably sick. There is even more Star Wars I just like the fucking the seconds before Lego he starts Star talking. Wars, saga is up, and as we move into our second hour, <laughs> when he's looking at the camera Fall waiting Guys to start talking, that's the best two. part. Still to come, the reveal of that. Fall Guys Season 2. For you guys to see. And of course, a gameplay demo of Ratchet and Clank. Ratchet and Clank. Apart for PlayStation 5. But right now, I need to see that Ratchet and Clank gameplay. Game that's Anna the only reason why we're doing this. From last year's Microsoft E3 event. And today, I'm excited to share a new announcement from the team. This interactive thriller about a man stuck in a time loop is one of this year's most intriguing indie titles. And now, they've added an absolutely all-star cast to the game. Here's a Death whole loop? new look at 12 minutes. 12 minutes? What is this? I'm very interested in the concept of time loops, so this would be important for me to watch. All right, close your eyes. Okay. I want you to think of a flower. Okay. Look at 
Don't it's lag. Close, it's close. Now I want you to imagine it changing. Moving backward. Returning. What the fuck? Hitman? Think of that, bud. Unopened. Look at it as a whole. Then silently repeat these phrases. May you be free from suffering. May you be free from fear. May you know peace and joy. Whoa, this looks interesting. William Defoe? Interactive thriller about a man trapped in a loop. Whoa. I need to play that. That's very important. I need to add that to the game list. Hey, I'm about to do that right now. That's going to be a really special indie game. So glad to be <laughs> on the show. Uh, now, last year at the That's Game Awards, we announced Godfall, a new <laughs> Godfall. shooter Ooh. coming to PlayStation 5 Godfall. and PC from Counterplay. Godfall is Tonight a game that we're excited about around here. Peak. So One if you're not excited about this, then you're not excited around here. Gamescom 2020. Check this out. This game's sick. This game's going to be so tight. I can't wait. Watch this shit. Look at the armor, bro. Look at the way that they... Um, masterfully crafted the creative and inspiring armors that this game features look at that moth inspired helmet that is so cool they show off their craziest most outlandish armor first in order to get you hooked on the game and then you start seeing the gameplay and this shit starts lagging hell yeah don't make me refresh i will i need to see this this shit's live and wax whoa okay so you lock on like Dark Souls, got it. Yeah, 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 it's like Mortal Shell or whatever, and it's lagging like a motherfucker. Oh my god. <laughs> it's going crazy. All right, all right, refresh, refresh. Don't give me a fucking, no whammies, oh, no whammies. It's a fucking commercial again, oh. Everybody's sleeping face in the chat. Everybody's sleeping face in the chat and everybody's yelling about Fall Guys. They just want to see Fall Guys season two. <laughs> So nobody cares about any of this bullshit. And people are reposting the same copy pasta about Elden Ring over and over again. <laughs> this fucking Gamescom is so sick because of the chat, dude. The chat makes it sick. Okay, okay, okay. Warframe? Oh, I missed the fucking trailer for Godfall because... Oh, now it's Warframe. Gamescom is lagging. What? Oh, that sucks. I wanted to see that trailer. Oh well. I'll have to go back and watch some of these trailers and get hyped by myself on YouTube. Because Gamescom is just fucked up right now. After they uh, post all this shit on YouTube, I have to watch it. Okay, so you get a mech now. Whatever. Warframe gives you a mech or whatever. This shit still looks like it's boring though. The only people who like this video are people who like Warframe. The heart of Deimos. Boo, this shit's boring. Heart of Deimos? Yeah. I could play it for free, but nah, you're gonna have to pay me to play that shit. <laughs> that Somebody. shit's boring. Oh no. Discovering Don't lie. Rediscovering video games during lockdown, whether it be yeah. people or people are rekindling their love for video games during lockdown. I feel like. I feel like people, even people like me who love video games, I'm really starting to get back into being excited about new video games, like never before. And I'm getting excited about sharing information about video games that other people don't quite know more than ever before. I did an entire tutorial stream on Valorant and how to get good at Valorant and how to like improve and small tips and tricks and tactics and Discord tech and shit that you should know about Valorant just because I love the game so much that I want to share all the information that I have. So people are really starting to open up and get super excited about games again. I hope everybody gets healthy and safely through this corona. Yeah. Yeah, me too. Time. I hope everybody gets through this. Yeah, really look out for each other. Masks. Wear your mask, man. That's right. Wear your mask, dude. Like this is magic. Yeah, it is magic. Video games are magic. Video games are something so great. What did he say? Takaido said that shit at Evo. He said, fighting games are something so great. And that shit made me cry. 
He said that sentence specifically in English. That's all he said when he won. He said, fighting games are something so great. And I just cried. Because it's true, man. Video games are a beautiful thing. They bring people together like nothing else. Whoa. What is this shit? Is this a fighting game? Is this a fighting game? I think this is what, um... Hold on. This might be the game that they stopped making. They might have finished it. This used to be called something else. I'm pretty sure. Is this a fighting game? Because this might just be that fighting game that they stopped making and they finally finished it. I can't remember what it was called though. Supercharged Mech League. Oh yeah, this is a fighting game. Override Super Mech League 2. 2? Whoa, this is a 3D fighting game. Oh, I'm in. I love 3D fighting games. This is a 3D fighting game. Nice. Nice. Override 2, sign up for the beta. I'm going. I'm there. I'm there. I'm going right now. Hold on. I'm on my way. I'm on my way to sign up for the beta right now. Override 2. Dude, I love 3D fighting games. Get me on this website. Override 2 game? Override game? No. Mech City Brawl 1. I want Mech City Brawl 2, bro. Damn. All right, guys, we're back officially into hour two. We've got an hour, hour, hour two. of great stuff. We got another hour. We got another hour of shit, but these guys are lagging constantly. We got another hour of shit. Hey, is there another way that I can watch this? To show you Destiny 2 Beyond Light. Or put it on auto, man. Why is it not on automatic? Put it on auto. All right, it's going to go backwards a little bit. So I can see the URL again, so I can look it up again, so I can get into this beta, because I do want to sign up for this beta. I'm not jesting. Override 2. What is the website? That shit looks sick. That shit looks so dope. Special crossover announcement coming in September. Okay. What does that shit say? It says override2.com. I already went there and it didn't work. Hold on. Override2.com Modus Games. Took too long to complete. It right, says guys, that the website back. doesn't Officially work. Into hour two. We've got an hour more of great stuff to show you. Modus Destiny Games. Two Beyond Light Stasis. You're going to see a brand games. new look at that. Fall Guys Season 2. Override 2. Clank for PlayStation 5 and so it's much more up. across. I'm on their website right now and that shit doesn't exist. <laughs> you can't even sign up for the beta yet. Oh, you can't. I just tried. And this shit is lagging. Oh. Come on, dude. Ugh. Picture in picture? Oh, that fixed it. I made a picture in picture and it fixed it. Play, you motherfucker. Hangar 13. Picture in picture again. No. If I do that, does it play? If I press play? No, it don't. This shit is broken. It just keeps freezing. Alright, refresh. <laughs> oh, another commercial. Alright, tight. Oh, this shit is whack. Every time they start a trailer, it's just like, and it broke. And then they cut back to the guy talking, and he's like, oh, check out the trailer for this new video game that we just came up with. 
Um, yeah, we were working really hard on it, and it's going to be so tight. Everybody's super excited. Check it out. And then that shit freezes. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, oh, we're back. The Skywalker Saga. Lego Star Wars? series has been reimagined with new fun-filled Lego humor. Lego Star Wars? Oh, my God. Skip this shit. Please. He says gameplay trailer. All right, he just said the words gameplay trailer. So this shit's about to freeze. Watch. I'm gonna let it play for like five seconds. It's gonna freeze. <laughs> it's just did, dude. It literally just did it again. Holy fuck! It plays the dude totally normal, and everybody can see him. And then they start playing the gameplay trailer, and everything fucking breaks on the screen. Oh my god, dude. Gamescom, huh? That boy is our last hope. That dude? That dude who gets drunk all the time? <laughs> is your last hope? Damn, she took her hair off? <laughs> Lego, huh? Alright, Lego's funny. What? <laughs> Get the fuck off my robe, you asshole. Okay, this is pretty funny. Hey. Nice. You can play as um, all the different characters from the new movies. There's Kylo. And Rey goes across the thing, yep. Just like the movie. Alright, this looks tight. Whatever. Point is, I can't see it. <laughs> Billy D. Williams. Fading in and out. This shit looks tight. I like how it uh, constantly does this buffer and shit. I think that's sick. Damn. Now that they started playing the music and shit. Damn. <laughs> and then they stopped the music? <laughs> right when they started playing the music, I'm like, okay, this is a Star Wars trailer. And then they stopped the music. They know what they're doing, man. They know how to get your feels. They know how your emotions work now. We've come such a long way when it comes to cinematography and like trailer creation and making good trailers for video games that they just understand how the audience feels now like my better than ever before. Me. So be it. Jedi. Bro, it's Lego. That shit doesn't work like that. <laughs> Use the real lightning. There you go. Bro, it's Lego. That shit don't work like that. And then he pops with the real lightning? Yeah. They know what they're doing now. They get the audience. But that doesn't make me want to buy that shit. I still am not going to play that shit. That's a cool trailer, but no thanks. Man, Lego Star Wars looks so fun. Come and then he fucking completely glitches out. <laughs> Man, that shit looks tight, and then it just freezes. <laughs> this shit is sick. Gamescom is looking great, man. Opening night? Well. This looks awesome. <laughs> Alright, we'll be all right, we'll be right back. We got some technical difficulties. We got to figure out everything's fucked up. Uh, we don't know what to tell you. Um, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> this shit is broken. Hey. Everybody's just spamming bullshit in chat. This is great. I'm having fun. Gamescom. Hey, maybe I can try this shit in a different browser. It'll work different. Hold up. Hold up. Shit is busted. Which is funny because I'm already using the most stable browser I can think of to try and watch this. So trying to pick a different browser that's more stable is going to be tough. That's toughy. But I think I found one. Let's see if I can get it in a different browser to be more consistent. And then just switch over the one that's streaming. So... Yeah, switch over to this one. Is this shit gonna work now? Or is it just the fucking stream that's fucking... Hey, shut the fuck up. Shut your stupid advertisement up. Alright, it's on auto and everything's automatic, whatever. So, if this one fucks up, it's not my fault. If this one fucks up, it's not my fault, man. The other one fucked up. That also wasn't my fault, but 
This is going to be the cross study. This is going to be the um, proof. If this one fucks up and the other one fucks up, it's not my browser. It's not me. It's them. Because I don't have any Fs either. Let me check uh, the stream. Yeah, I don't have any drop frames either. I have zero drop frames. So it's not me. It's just Gamescom. <laughs> it's fucking fucked up. <laughs> Everything's getting destroyed. All right, all right. Fuck this commercial. This shit sucks. Good. Oh, this isn't a commercial. This is the actual gameplay. <laughs> I turned that shit down because this game sucks and is boring. Hey, what is this? I think it's working better now, but this shit is whack. What are we looking at? Total War? This is a Total War game? We're looking at a 4X for sure. This is some boring ass 4X RTS shit. Colonial War? Oh, Age of Empires? Age of Empires 3? Oh, whatever. I don't care. Oh my god, this guy's face! What the fuck was that? Why did his face pop up? <laughs> was that just me? Did you see his fucking face come out of nowhere? That was terrifying. That shit was scarier than any of this trailer is gonna do. Nothing in this trailer is gonna be scarier than that guy's face and fucking the mask from Crash Bandicoot popping up for a split second. <laughs> that was horrifying, bro. This trailer isn't shit. Chains? Oh, he fell on a gate? Yeah, that's real scary. Shit's whack. Alright, what is this? Is Gran Turismo? I love Gran Turismo. Oh no. This browser's working better, but it's definitely not perfect still. It's still lagging. Damn. That looks nice. Is this a Gran Turismo trailer? This has to be. This looks good. Project Cars. Oh wow, this is Project Cars. Damn, that looks like new Grand Gran Turismo. It looks like. Most hours to that I love going back to is Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Not to say since. Ass Creed Odd. Oh man, I don't even like Ass Creed games. So to speak, that was my first time getting into it. Odyssey is definitely the best one. Almost 400 hours into. 400 hours. Jesus. The moment I enjoy to play Fall Guys with my friends. Everybody's just talking about Fall Guys. But hard to master. I have a few games. Easy to learn but hard to master. Uh -huh. to nice cyberpunk uh, chair. Whoa, I want a cyberpunk chair. That insanely in-depth analysis of cyberpunk that I did in that YouTube video on my YouTube channel has to net me a fucking cyberpunk chair sometime. Come on, dude. I knew more about cyberpunk than the guy who was giving the YouTube video explanation of the gameplay that we were watching. Let me get a cyberpunk chair. And the winner... I'll buy one if it takes me to money buy one. To I don't give a fuck. That shit's tight. Well, after a big day of Gamescom events and announcements, you'll be happy to know that IGN is going to help you digest all that info with I don't need IGN to help me digest anything, man. IGN can't tell me anything I don't already know. Actually, I could help them. I could tell them some shit about video games. Look at his face. <laughs> he just looks at the camera like... <laughs> As we know, there's a lot he looked like he was pissed as fuck. He's just pandemic. like uh, between social conflicts we're seeing in the news and acts of nature, we can see how vulnerable we as people can sometimes be. And now I think it's as important time as ever to remember He's emotional. to come together and support one another. We are a global game yeah. community. There are millions of people watching. We got to come together as a community, man. Here because we love games and we That's know right. that games are good in the world. Video games together, are a beautiful thing, man. That in 2020. So I think Hell it's really yeah. important to remember amongst I all like the this games guy. and trailers. All right, well, one gay, uh, one, like one way one gay? to come together and do some good is the Gamescom. <laughs> he said gay! Gamescom he said gay! He said gay! project by planting a Gamescom force together with the community. Gamers worldwide can go to Gamescom.global and donate to plant more trees. So let's plant a force together. Hey, don't forget, we're right, streaming well, for now charity. We're, move on to another game. Um, this one was we're streaming so that we can game. raise money and Force awareness for LGBTQIA individuals. Um, we're raising money for a Get Better project. Um, he said gay instead of one way. So we're going to just roll with that and say, uh, you know, he meant to help us out with the charity link. So check out the charity link and don't forget, we're streaming for charity. Thanks. And thank you for supporting. 
Let's watch this trailer. <laughs> One gay. <laughs> that guy said gay. Oh, what is this? You broke my heart? Is this a Backstreet Boys song? You broke my heart? Oh. Oh, space combat. Oh, what the fuck is this? Oh, this looks way better than that Star Wars game. What the fuck is this? Fuck that Star Wars game. Whoa. Whoa. This looks like some Star Fox shit, actually. Yo, this looks hype. Barrel rolls? He's actually doing barrel rolls and shit instead of being in the cockpit. This is hype. Whoa, he just turned into a beam of light? Become a living weapon. This shit is way more sick than that Star Wars game. What is he doing? Is this some Ikaruga shit? Yo, what is this called? Corves? How do you pronounce that, bro? Chorus? It's Oh, it's Chorus, but that V is a U. It's Chorus, but they used a V instead of a U. All right. That's cool. That's edgy. Fall, guys. Fall, guys. One. I have one crown. It absolutely One. is Fall Guys from Fall guys. Sonic in London and Devolver. Hell yeah. This game is setting Season records two. and putting a much needed smile on FGC. everyone's face. Yes. Fall Guys, I think, represents our industry at its absolute best. Best, well, yes. soon the Fall Guys experience will evolve guys. with Season 2. There's a lot of new stuff coming, and tonight, excited. Media Tonic is about to give you an exclusive sneak peek at what's next. Nice. Get ready. I think the I'm excited. is about to freak out. Here it is. I think they're adding cars, dude. I think they're adding cars. I think they're adding vehicles. I think they're adding on pogo sticks and like bicycles hey, and vehicles. I'm the game on Fall Guys Lead right designer? He's like 18. This dude is like 12 years old. Look at his face. He's the lead designer? Today we just wanted to give everyone their first sneak peek at the This guy's like 15. As part of Fall Guys season two. He's the lead designer on the project and this game is this popular? What a simple masterpiece of a game, dude. This game has two buttons, and this game is the most popular game in the world right now. Dota, eat your fucking heart out. League of Legends, eat your fucking heart out. Tekken, eat your heart out, dude. Counter-Strike Global Offensive, eat your fucking heart out. So they added a bunch of maps, bro. These are all maps. These aren't mechanics that they're adding. They're adding maps. I want to see mechanics you're adding. I don't care about more maps. I want to see, are you going to add, like, vehicles? Are you going to add, like, new ways to traverse the environment? Are the characters going to move faster? Is grabbing going to have new mechanics? Just new costumes and new maps? You got to add more mechanics, man. Oh, sliding stuff. You can move and slide stuff now. So there are new mechanics. Move and slide those things so you can climb on top. Okay, okay. So that's the new mechanics they're adding. Move and slide stuff is the new thing. They're still adding the finishing touches. So each season is going to be a very small implementation step for new mechanics. They're not trying to add too many mechanics in each patch. So they're just adding moving and sliding shit as their new thing. And then they're going to implement something else in the next season. So they're taking it very slow. I like that approach. That's probably a smart approach. What is this? This is, looks like some tactic and shit. Not. XCOM. Is this like XCOM? This is tight. Okay. Yep, XCOM. This is very XCOM. It's just another XCOM ripoff. Seems boring. Sleeping face. Got more brains and cunning than Sleeping face. Hey. <laughs> What? Oh. It's still it still the same trailer? They're trying to get you to care about these characters when you don't know any of their names. I don't like when games do this in trailers. You're not gonna take 15 seconds out of Gamescom in order to get us emotionally attached to these characters that nobody even knows who they are, dude. You can only do that if you're already an established IP or an established game. This is a new IP. And they're trying to do all that shit in the space of like 20 seconds. I hate it when they make trailers like this. This isn't... Stay and die alone. That doesn't make me... 
Oh, this is Wasteland. Okay, so it isn't a salvage series. This is Wasteland 3. It isn't a salvage series. It's just that nobody gives a fuck who those characters are from the Wasteland series. So the gameplay is going to be tight, but it's not compelling. Before couldn't be high. They should have just showcased a bunch of gameplay from the game instead of doing this fake story, like, emotional uh, ploy to get you interested. You get to travel all over the world in games, which is something I've always taken for granted. At the moment, I'm playing Ghost of Tsushima and... Ghost of Tsushima is so good. Oh man, of course it is. I wouldn't have this hat if I didn't like Ghost of Tsushima. Ghost of Tsushima is tight. A lot more than films, music, or whatever, and it's just fine uh, for me to to have the time to play with friends or even yeah. with family. Yeah, my family, yeah. A lot of fun. I've been mostly at home with small children, and gaming right. is the only thing. Gaming is the only thing that you can entertain. Anymore. Yeah. I find it's not only an escape; it's also a way to challenge my brain. Yeah, gaming, gaming is, is a really way to keep your mind sharp. You know, play is a natural instinct, and from Animal Crossing to The Last of Us Part 2 or Ori, yes, yes, it's definitely an incredible time now to mm -hmm. be gamer, yes. Yeah, gaming is a way to keep your mind sharp and keep yourself from um, slipping. Hey everyone. Problem solving skills. Sampella, head of you have to flex that shit all the time. When we set out to create Medal of Honor above and beyond. We Medal of Honor? Oh my god, choice. dude. The Medal of Honor franchise is known for its powerful and exciting single player story. No, it it's not. The the <laughs> it's a series that is grounded in history, which tells emotionally. <laughs> no, it's not. No, it Peter isn't. Hirschman, who directed That's the a fucking lie, dude. In is back at They're the trying to make Medal of Honor Peter seem like this, like. Um, veteran series that people like, it's not. They're trying to make it seem like a competitor to Call of Duty, it isn't. They tried to do this shit the last time they made a Medal of Honor game, and it was just based on unlocking beards. It was a beard simulator. The last Medal of Honor game was a joke. I hope you guys really come out swinging, or else nobody cares that you're making a new Medal of Honor, dude. We could not be more excited to show the world the next look at Medal of Honor above and beyond and the game's action-packed story. Let's take a look. This better be good or else this series is dead. Look, they either make this Medal of Honor game really good or this series is never coming out ever again. This is the last chance they have to make people care about Medal of Honor, period. Nobody gives a fuck. I know this is the first time some of you will see combat. And it's already looking like it's just a World War II game. Let me be clear with all of you. I was asking for another World War II game though. I'll be honest, I was asking for one. Too. So this better be good. This better blow my fucking socks off. Oh, it's by EA. Oh, it's by EA. Oh, Jesus. It's literally just a ripoff of Battlefield, dude. Except it's single player. This... Okay, it's VR. Oh! It's VR! Oh! Oh! Okay, I can get behind this. Now I'm in. Now I'm in. This is what Medal of Honor was supposed to be. Back when I was a kid and I played Medal of Honor on PS1, I thought it was the coolest game series in the world. Better than Call of Duty when Call of Duty was coming out at the same time. Because Medal of Honor games had good single player stories, that's right. He was right about that. Medal of Honor games had great single player campaigns back on the PS1 days. PS2, but when they started coming out with new Medal of Honor games, that's when they started copying Call of Duty and just making everything boring as fuck. Now they're going back to their roots as a series, and going back to the World War II setting, in VR, so they can make people interested in the like series said, again. So while Call of Duty is a console shooter and a PC shooter, Medal of Honor is poising itself to become the first series of story-based, war-based, single-player VR experiences. Rather than just being a ripoff of Call of Duty, rather than just following in the footsteps of another shooter, they're making themselves different Somehow by doing VR instead. This is a great fucking idea. God help us all. God help us all. See, they know how bad it was and how bad they had to pull the series back into people's minds because they know how much nobody gives a fuck about Medal of Honor. So they really pulled out all the stops for this one. They really aren't pulling any punches with this one. Man, I can't wait. I'm gonna play that.
That looks Thank good. Thank you so much, Vince. That looks incredible. And that now looks we're here great. with Respawn Entertainment's Peter Hirschman, game director on Medal of Honor Above and Beyond, to talk more about their new VR experience. He uh, did a miracle, Peter, dude. Say, the trailer really the IP owners of Medal of Honor need to be kissing this guy's to, uh, feet right now. He made a miracle happen. He brought Medal of Honor back from the brink of death. Well, Jeff, thank you for having for people to care about it again. Um, representing a whole team back at Respawn that's been working this is amazing. really hard on this and it's uh, so exciting to premiere the This is such an underdog uh, story you. dude. Uh, if this so game does uh, well, this is the biggest Rose underdog Rose story of the year. Putting, uh, the player in the boots of a soldier fighting in World War II. Right. Um, and with VR we're able to do that better in now. A literal way. Uh, yeah. It's, it's definitely the most It's like the shit they were doing on PS1 except the way they should have done it the first time in VR. Um, and the story follows, but they didn't uh, have the US technology back then to do it, but now they do the office of strategic services, um, commonly known as the OSS, uh, Boom. And their mission was sabotage, espionage, search and rescue, everything, uh, in okay. between, uh, you name it, they did it. Um, and they're known by a different set of initials, uh, now the, the CIA, CIA. Um, but during yeah. World War II, uh, that's when the CIA was invented, yeah. All, all over Europe, uh, deep behind enemy lines. Right. Uh, and that allows us to tell a story where you intel. can go to these places and locations and Undercover intel, participate yeah. in events that really so it's a spy game. shape the outcome of the It's world. a 007 spy One game. One of the things I love about the trailer is you can tell... And eventually you go to the front lines of the war the also. Environment, emergent game player. You, you got the piano and other things in there. Tell us a bit about um, how you're using that to, to tell the story. It seems like it's yeah. all kind of through a first-person perspective, but there are some story sequences how do you tell the story this is tight oh well we shot we shot over 120 pages narrative um 120 page narrative more than some feature films uh we had a, a huge storyboard 120 page storyboard actors, uh and, and it was fantastic and the story follows a, a, a classic three three act structure um act one is working with the, the french resistance getting ready for the invasion uh, act two is d-day itself and the fight d-day uh, oh you do go to the front lines yeah uh, d-day third act is Damn. with the nazi secret weapon program which you know involve things like the 262 uh jet and the v2 rocket and, and things operation like paperclip the tide of the war if, if we had buying all of those um, um so nazi scientists off of the nazi journey, government and bringing um, them to and america and making them work for the americans Operation Paperclip. I hope they touch on that. That part was fucked up. We got a lot of those Nazi scientists over in America in order to work for us after that shit happened in World War II. And nobody really talks about it. Completely in first person, as and those guys were completely. Um, a lot of them were just cleared of any of their uh, supposed would be war crimes that they committed because of the sake of science. They took the scientific research that they were working on and they just took it as a payment for all the sins they committed in getting it. And they didn't give a fuck. Operation Paperclip, man, Google that shit. Talking to you directly, and in VR, it's such a powerful thing. It's all about building that emotional. Connection and it just makes the experience. Man, you need to be building uh, a well, network and, connection. And I know this, this series so that this stops lagging. Fucking emotional so connection. You need to be building a Wi Fi connection. Looks really rich and detailed, obviously authentic as well. Um, you know, paying tribute um, to everyone that uh, was involved in, in the war. I, I wanted to ask you also about multiplayer, which is something that Respawn is really known for. And you've had a great single player experience, but I hear you might also be doing MP too. Oh, well, yeah. I mean, the thing about VR is that, uh, you know, I spent so much. I mean, we know each other a long multiplayer. time. Multiplayer. He said multiplayer. You know, They're talking about VR multiplayer. Map natural human movements to a, to a controller. And just figuring out things like making it feel good. And, and one of the hardest ones is, is ducking. Leaning. And Leaning and VR, ducking, you know, yeah. You, duck, you, you, just, you duck. just duck down, you so you don't have to program that shit in VR. It's way so easier for developers to make experiences the nowadays the because it's easy the for the the movement just, animations it, it to just be done by the so player it, instead of having to make the animations all yourself. All and when you put that into a so it makes multiplayer easier for them to program too. Yeah, because all of the work when it comes to the characters moving around, all of the work is done for you. You don't need animators to animate characters when the player is in. VR. Uh, people playing he those, brings up uh, a very uh, valid point on the development that side that of things. Out. They don't have to well, worry about all that shit anymore. So that's super I cool. Say, I'm really excited I can't to, uh, wait for the, the new Metal Honor game, and I didn't give a fuck out, about this uh, series this year, before right? this trailer came out. 
Coming out holiday, so uh, holiday. Yeah, fasten your seatbelts. Uh, All right. We're, we're this is going to be a busy end of the year over at fucking Indie Incorporated, like, man. Like Mega City 4 from the 69 is going to be jumping. Everyone There's a lot of shit coming. Um, it's, it's, uh, it's a wonderful full circle uh, experience for a lot of us. It is a full circle experience, man. Working on those original set original first Medal of Honor games. And, and, the first uh, Medal of Honor Allied games, Assault, yeah. And now to be able to bring above and beyond. Allied Assault was the one that I played. Generation is, yeah, uh, is that was the good shit. Been... So them going back to their roots awesome. in Medal of Thank Honor so is much, amazing Peter. news. Opening night live will be right back. And in the meantime, here's a look at a new game that is launching New game. Tonight. New game. New game. What is it? Launches now. The world was broken. What is it? Fractured by the magic the vow keepers. Fortnite. <laughs> Those look like some Fortnite shit. What is this? Spellstorm still rains. Spellstorm. Spellbreakers. What is this? This is proof. They said. Spellbreakers. It safe. It can't be controlled. This is spellbreakers. Magic cannot be used. This game fucking sucks if this is spellbreakers. That game is terrible and boring. I really hope it isn't, because that shit sucks. It is. It is Spellbreakers. This game didn't come out tonight, dude. I already had a code for this, and a beta code for this, and beta access and everything for this game for months, dude. This game's been out for me for months. This game sucks. Don't bother, dude. This game's boring. It's just Fortnite if it was, uh, magic. I have broken my vow. This shit sucks. And now I fight. They probably updated it since I played it, but this shit's whack. Yep, this is just Spellbreakers. You shoot fireballs at people, and the most meta thing that you can do is get the lightning gun and get the uh, poison gun. And you just use lightning gun, poison gun, until you switch to your air gauntlet, and you switch to your fire gauntlet for rocket, and you just switch back and forth between those ones. Those are the best ones in the game. And the ice bow thing, yeah, the ice bow thing's good if you can hit those ice shots too. But people who play this game just camp outside the ring, basically. At least the last time I played it in beta, they were just camping out of the ring and they were using the airborne gauntlet to stay up in the air, high away from everybody while they fought each other. And then they'd wait for the last dude to be alive, fly down, shoot the last guy, and win the whole match because it's a battle royale. This game is whack, dude. Unless they changed a lot about it on release, this game is whack and it always was whack. And it still is whack. We'll probably try it, man. I'll probably reinstall it just to make sure that it's whack, just so that I can uh, confirm that I don't have to play it. But, if it comes out today, I guess I'll give it a shot. This trailer sucks, and this game sucks. Spellbreak. It's not called Spellbreakers, but it's called Spellbreak. Yeah, I already played this shit. This shit sucks. This shit ain't new. They said that it's coming out today, but it's coming out on the 3rd of September, dude. What? He said that this new game's out today. And it says September 3rd, right on the trailer. You can play it today. September 3rd. <laughs> Maybe they mean September 3rd on Xbox. On PC, that shit's already out. Gears of War, man. I love Gears. New Gears game? Are they announcing Gears 6 today? Are they announcing the new Gears of War today? I'll play that. That shit seems sick. Final Fantasy? I think this is all just footage from older games so that they can fill time. I don't think this has anything to do with, like, Gamescom this year. Three free months of Nitro? Nice. Gears 5? Okay, so it is just more Gears 5 shit. It's not Gears 6 shit. Final... Wait, no. They're saying... They're showing Final Fantasy, the last one, and they're showing... Um, Resident Evil 7. Or not 7. 6, right? The last one that came out, the fucking first person one. They're showing footage of the old Resident Evil game. All this footage is so old. Destiny 2? 
It's a commercial for Game Pass that was made like a year ago. <laughs> this shit sucks. His <laughs> face! Great games in he looks so mad, Pass, dude. And many of tonight's games are in it as well. <laughs> uh, every year at Gamescom, we like to highlight some incredible games he looks made pissed. in Germany. And tonight, we have a special announcement about one of the most legendary German games of all time. Every time they cut back to him, it's the funniest time. shit, because he just looks mad as fuck. He's just like, hmm. <laughs> Well, what is that? Hey, I played that. I played that game before. Wait, I've played that game before. Yeah, Factor 5. Right. This game is nutty. Turrican collection and hope to show it off to everyone just as I did back in the day so it's a Turrican collection whoa yeah I remember that shit This was the first game that allowed me to completely fulfill my musical vision. What? Define my career and the fans have been there ever since. This shit is tight. To this day, it's one of my proudest works. Welcome back to... Nice fucking cover art. Nice helmet. You look like a pig. Turcon. Yeah. That's tight. Factor 5. I played Factor 5 before. Or wait, is that the company? Maybe that's I'm confusing it for the company. In June, Bungie revealed a new, new Destiny? Era of Destiny 2 that starts oh, on no. November 10th with Beyond oh, Light. No. For the first time ever, Guardians oh, no. will add a new elemental power to their arsenal, the dark power of stasis. With stasis, there's a new dark power. Oh my darkness, god, we were joking about this yesterday, battle. dude. All new look. Me and somebody from my Discord were joking about this yesterday. We were joking about how the light isn't that powerful. The light gets its ass kicked in the main storyline, so maybe we should go take the dark power instead. And this is literally what they're doing now. You're going and getting a dark power instead of a light power. This is so fucking stupid, dude. I can't believe I was just talking about this yesterday. And here it is. We're going to get dark power stasis. The freeze move from fucking... What is that game called? Dead Space? The stasis move from Dead Space? It's just Dead Space. I was just talking about this dumb shit, and now you're getting a dark superpower. Oh my god. Shade Binder. You s freeze them in space time, don't you? Yeah, they all get frozen in space time until they explode for da massive damage. Look at that. Dude, I was just talking about this shit yesterday. I can't believe they actually did this shit. That's not coincidence, man. There's no way that's a coincidence. I was just talking about this. You freeze the dude and throw a glaive at him? Oh my god. This shit is sick. Your fist becomes frozen and you punch the ground and freeze motherfuckers in space time, dude? This is so sick. You get a gauntlet? made out of that you're you're literally freezing space time and putting it around your hand you're freezing the concept of time around your fist dude those air molecules are trapped around your hand in time and you just smash and then it breaks the effect after you hit him with it see that's so sick dude i was literally just thinking about this and then they did it command stasis power takes a new form time itself manipulation of time Chronomancy, dude. Of course they add Chronomancy as the new power for every fucking class. Now I have to play Destiny again. Fuck. I hate it when I always have to play Destiny again. I said that I'd never play Destiny again after they released the first fucking expansion, and the second one, and now the third one. <laughs> Gotta play Destiny again. Cyberpunk 2077, yay! <laughs> of course it won't. User voting, where you can vote for your favorite I don't streamer, vote. Gamescom's most wanted, and best of Gamescom. I don't the care. Will be revealed at who Gamescom cares about who show, won Gamescom's best of? I don't give a shit. Boo. So Nobody cares. On Sunday, August 30th at 8 p.m. 
Central European time to see the grand Everybody voted for Steven, the greatest streamer of all time. Yay. Who That's gives a fuck? Today, <laughs> I just want to see the games, I dude. I hope everyone out there is staying safe and healthy. We're all in this together, so take care. Back to you, Jeff. Thank you very much, uh, Sydney. It's great to have you on the show again this year. Uh, our, a lot of people have been wondering what will the next generation of gaming feel like? How will it be Ratchet different? and Clank. What is that generation Clank. different? Well, Ratchet and Clank. Back in June, Ratchet and Clank. I call that shit Ratchet and Clank. Which uses the power of PlayStation 5, I can't wait. SSD hard drive, Watch this. The dual sense control Watch this. To create an experience that Insomniac Ooh, says is only possible on brand new hardware. Oh. Well, now it's time for you to decide if you see the difference. Here's oh. an uninterrupted demo of uninterrupted demo. Oh, nobody's going to be talking. Nobody's going to talk Enjoy. shit about it in the background. I'm not going to have some dev talking in my ear. I'll watch this shit. Oh. Move this shit off of my desk. I need to see the whole screen. Get this shit out of my face. Oh. Get the fucking thing off the screen. Oh. This is tight. Captured on PS5. This is the actual demo. This is front to back. No bullshit. There's no trailer. There's no in-game pre-rendered footage. Nothing. It's just this is the game. Damn, this looks good. Everybody's scared because you just went through space time. Okay. Okay. And now the cops are on you. They found you, so you got to start uh, shooting your way through in order to get out. The cops are on your ass, so now you got to blast them. Look at this. Oh, this looks hella good. Oh, you can blow up the boxes? There's boxes that are explosive that you can shoot that are near the bolt boxes. If you uh, shoot them, you can get all the bolts for free without having to crush the crates. So that's what he just did in order to do some damage to that guy. All right, now throw the bomb glove at this motherfucker. He's out of bomb glove bullets pretty soon. Oh, wait, no. He's got some more bullets. All right, we're good. He's got the burst pistol back out. It looks like you can change the damage type of the weapons that you get by upgrading them later. Because right now it's green. And when we saw the last trailer, it was red when he was shooting the blaster pistol. So this is different. He has a different variation. This is a different variant. Okay, get on the train. Get on the train. Use the pulley move or whatever. Oh, you don't have to yet. You can also pull yourself on like rips in time. So you still have the wrench on you at all times at the press of a button. You can still throw the wrench in order to do damage at opponents. He just pulled the aim up for it so you can throw it. You can still throw the wrench. Put down the Dimensionator, bitch. Put down the Dimensionator. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> the writing is still good. Good writing. Put down the Dimensionator, man. Shut the fuck up. Say goodbye, bitch. Oh shit, you say goodbye. Shoot the crystal, bro. Ooh, nice crystal, bitch. Not today. And then that creates the rift in space time that ruins everything and you start going in between realities. Oh, come on. Don't lag now. This is the good part. Oh. This is the part where it started going through time. Oh. This device seems to realize reality shot. There has to be another way across. Come on. Hmm. The rips appeared to your Okay, device. I think it's leveling out. I think the car's leveling out. So you pull yourself to the rift tether or whatever. You press L1 and he pulls himself to the rift tether. Okay, cool. We already saw that before in one of the previous trailers. We've already seen this. So now pull yourself up to the thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what he did last time. And then you shoot this guy. And then you go across. And then there's a garden or whatever. And people are getting pulled into space-time from just, like, the street, really. Random pedestrians are getting fucked. There's the sprinkler thing, so you can throw down the sprinkler turret and it'll turn enemies into flowers, and you can shoot them to do extra damage. It also stops them in space so that they uh, can't shoot you or do damage to you, see? You can kind of stop them in their tracks. Like the stasis move that they just showed Destiny 2 is gonna get. It's just a rip-off of some other shit that they saw somebody else do. So you're recognized by normal pedestrians in this game. In the other games, Ratchet and Clank weren't popular space heroes. The popular space hero was Captain Quark. 
Captain Cork was the ho household space hero name that everybody knew. See, you can still throw the branch at people. But now that um, Ratchet saved the galaxy so many times, people know Ratchet and Clank more than they know Captain Cork now. So that's cool. That's a Kraken. Kraken through time. Man, they're just destroying this airport. <laughs> this airport's fucked. Okay, this is the part where they were showing gameplay last time. Where you're falling through the different times and going through the different places. And this is the garden I was talking about earlier. Because they just cut to that shit the last time they showed gameplay. So this is the garden I was thinking of. So he drops the turret. Yeah, he drops the sprinkler thing. Or not. He uses the enforcer this time. That's the shotgun. So the shotgun's the same as the last time they showed gameplay. Level up. So you still get levels. So look at the top left. There's an XP bar right under the health bar. In the original Ratchet and Clank games, you always gathered XP by killing enemies and doing certain objectives. And you got levels as the game progresses. Uh, um, yeah, you get levels as the game progresses. And your health bar gets bigger as you get better and better at the game. And your weapons also level up with XP. So in the top right, you can also see that there's a circular meter around the icon of the weapon. And it says level 1, level 2, right under it. There's XP that you can gather for weapons individually the more that you use them. That'll change the properties of the weapon and also let you do different shit. The shit is tight. Ratchet and Clank games are fucking tight. And the gameplay is looking amazing outside of all that shit that I just explained. What a good series, man. I'm glad that they're bringing this back. I've been looking for another Ratchet and Clank game my whole life. Ever since they made the last one, I've been waiting for another one of these fucking games. Whoa, this is the part that they didn't show last time. This is the boss fight. Oh, they fucking teased it. They teased the boss fight, and now he's on the rail on the boots. Damn. All right, this is still cool. They teased the boss fight. Now he's sliding on this roof. Dodge these birds. All right, no big deal. Dodge the birds. Jump on this Drake. So this is like um, Panzer Dragoon. You're on the back of a dragon, and you're doing Panzer Dragoon shit. Fly away. And then you go through another time portal, and then you go to the boss fight, right? Nope, pirate ship. Damn, still not the boss fight. So you gotta shoot all these dudes off this pirate ship first, and then get to the other side of this area, and maybe then they'll do the boss fight. No, we already saw this. This is where the other Lombax shows up. So your teammate Lombax, they're about to reveal. They're gonna reveal more about this other character. This is when they get split up and Clank finds the other Lombax. We're too late. And then he turns around and there's the other Lombax. Ratchet is a female in this version. I think what happens is Clank gets split up in a different part of space-time and in that version of reality, Ratchet is a female. And Ratchet's name is different. But it's the same personality of person. Maybe. I don't know. That's just speculation, but they didn't show anything more there this time. Ratchet and Clank ripped apart yeah, they didn't show anything more than Marcus last time. Smith and Mike Daly from about the Lombax, I mean. I thought they were going to uh, reveal more shit about that so other Lombax. To see that, uh, long, uninterrupted of, uh, ripped apart. And I have so many yeah, that was really good. I'm glad they did that. I'm glad um, that I started PS5 watching this for that specifically. Um, let me ask you first, Marcus, what are you able to do with Rift Apart that you haven't been able to do before in a Ratchet game because of the power of PS5? The loading screens are super short. Did you see how he could go from a whole map to a whole nother map instantaneously without having to have a loading screen? From PS5 to PS2 is a huge technological jump, dude. What kind of question is that? Which uses the SSD that allows us The SSD allows them to do that. Planet to planet to planet. Right. Uh, lightning fast. That's what he's saying. Way, way faster than ever been, able to, ever been able to do before. Yeah. Right. Uh, the, the he's saying that the SSD allows, the allows them to go that, from one whole that's, that's different that's world to another game. whole like, different world that, in like a microsecond. Work as you can the whole thing loads the instantly. And, and there's no seams in between them. In the game, there is dimensional damage spread throughout the galaxy that Ratchet and Clank have to find a way to fix. Right. And you can find these weak points in space-time. 
time in space time pull to, to you with your rift right. tether it's like, like being able to lasso a portal lasso a part of space right basically like warp across the world to find new places to discover or gain a tactical advantage yeah. Wow. You gotta say, like, when you see, this shit's sick. The, the I like how it lags when they're explaining things. Uh, at, at, you know, at instantaneously almost, and it sounds like there's no load screens throughout the entire game. Yeah, there's no load screens. That's what I was explaining That's earlier. Right. We're going That's right. Yep. Not having load right. screens is a right. huge so difference. You say it. I like it. Um, now, <laughs> let me ask you about dual sense. That's something that is a big part of PS5. Uh, I've had a chance to hands on the controller with the adaptive triggers and the haptics. Um, dual triggers and haptic feedback, and who gives a fuck? Yeah, blah, blah, blah. Whatever. Nobody cares. Controller? Boo. I don't care. So, every Ratchet and Clank game is a powerful arsenal of weapons that just exude. Maybe if you can use it in a new way to control your weapons. It's sort of like. It feels like it was made for Ratchet and Clank just because Damn. the haptic give us feels a like it was made for? for the weapons to express themselves. So, for example, your burst pistol, of course, it gives you like a satisfying click or kick yeah. with every bullet. Yeah, when but you shoot. When you throw the shatter bomb, you can actually feel oh. the energy pulsing off the grenade fade away as it gets Oh, that's sick. The so, another example that he didn't bring up is when you're using a haptic feedback controller, if you have like a PS5 controller and it's haptic feedback, when you hold that shit and you like hold down the left trigger in order to bring up the aim, and then you press the um, square button in order to throw your wrench, that shit's gonna feel like it left your hand and it was a metal wrench that was like heavy on this side first. It's gonna leave your hand through the haptic feedback in the controller. It's gonna feel like a spinning metal thing that goes that way. And then it'll feel like when it comes back on the screen and Ratchet catches it, it's going to be haptic feedback in the controller that feels like you just caught the wrench. That's what's cool about haptic feedback in its relation to this game. You're going to be able to do a lot more with the vibration of the controller and the feedback of the controller that makes your brain trick into thinking that all that shit is really happening. It's like the um, effect that VR has on your brain, where your brain gets tricked into thinking that it's real because you're watching it happen in front of you, and you really think you're on the edge of a building or something. It's like that, except they're doing it with your hands now, in haptic feedback in the PS5 controller. So that actually is cool. Well, canonically, this is a, an extension of uh, what is he saying? Clank uh, Into the Nexus, the 2013 game. Okay, so canonically, this is right after Into the Nexus. Even if you've never played a Ratchet and Clank game, I did not into play it, Into the Nexus. I need to play that first uh, before for I play this. Hardcore fans, we have a lot of. Non I'm a hardcore you're gonna, fan. You're going to see a lot of returning characters and planets, and uh, I played every other Ratchet and Clank game other than uh, Into the Nexus, so I have to play that one. Yeah, no, this this Rift Tether thing I think looks really exciting. And how often, like, is that something we saw in the demo? Is that something you're going to see like frequently in the game? Are there special moments? Like, I guess I'm curious, like, how often? You no, the Rift that Tether thing is all game. the time, dude. It's constantly. They do that shit all the time. So the the, the Rift Tether has created these anomalies all throughout the galaxy. You'll encounter those pretty. There's even a few more types of dimensional damage you'll encounter that we haven't shown yet. Okay. There's now, a few more types of things you can do with that gauntlet that isn't Rift Tether. To chasing after Dr. Nefarious in the demo. Um, and that's sort of reserved for special moments when you really have to- They don't overuse um, it, but they don't use it too little is what they're saying. Really they don't underutilize that mechanic, but that's not the only mechanic that they brought to the table, the which is end, great. That's great news for the game, and it's great news for uh, all the Ratchet and Clank fans that want this to be awesome. Uh, Female yeah, Lombax, what are they going to say? Hey, say some shit. Say some shit about her. I want to know who she is. Come on. Say something, motherfucker. They're looking at each other. They're looking at each other. Oh, my God. Say something. Say something. Too many smart people on the internet. Damn. She's not named Abby, though, right? All right, well, we'll have to wait and see what you guys have in store for us. I got to say, I mean, it looks incredible. The Ratchet games are always so much fun. And as you said, of the power well, Ratchet's name is Ratchet, right? We don't know uh, other Lombax's really name, but if Before Ratchet's go, name is though, Ratchet uh, I think and Clank's name is Clank, wants to know then what's her name? To play this game. Anything you can share with us on where is her name Span? Mike. Because a spanning wrench would be the other type Mike? of wrench. <laughs> A ratchet is another so name for a wrench. Coming out in the a PS5 spanning PS5 wrench would be window. another type of so wrench. Is her name like Span or something? Date, yeah, it would have to be like a tool, right? 
big window. So no, I'm just kidding. All right, if they were being clever yeah, about sure it, and they're usually pretty clever. Apart, coming the I wonder what it is. Five. I gotta say, Damn. Uh, insomniac, he said if uh, you said so how many letters it was, they would figure out immediately they're not stupid. So I think it is another play on words when it comes to tools. All you've done that's what he's thinking of, uh, Rift Apart I think it's span or something thanks Jeff Take I care. think that's our right. name Marcus and Mike yeah. from Insomniac thanks, thanks for showing us that first look at Ratchet and or PlayStation 5 and that's going to do it for opening night thank you so much for that's watching it. from Aww. around the world and make sure to stay that's tuned it. all weekend Ratchet and Clank was the last one Gamescom coverage at Gamescom. All right, all right. Global. this shit As sucks for us, we'll see you later this year alright alright oh man that's it damn that was cool damn Gamescom, even though that shit didn't work half the time and we were having trouble trying to get it to uh, be functional as a stream, <laughs> that was cool. I did get uh, a chance to see the new gameplay for Ratchet and Clank, so I feel pretty good about that. I'm glad that I tuned in and I started streaming and I was able to watch that shit on the tail end because the first shit that they showed in the first hour that I didn't get a chance to see that I missed didn't even look that good anyway. They did like a recap halfway through. That shit looked boring anyway. So that's cool. No big deal. The only thing that I missed that I really wanted to see was the new Godfall gameplay. And I don't think they showed anything new for the new um, FromSoft game. So they didn't show anything on that today. Maybe tomorrow. But we'll have to do this while they're still doing Gamescom every day. We'll have to keep coming back and checking in on Gamescom. Because I didn't even know this was going on until I saw somebody else doing the special event stream. So now that I'm aware, we're going to have to do this for the next couple days. This shit's tight. I love getting hype about video games, and I love speculating about games that the developers don't want to say some shit on, but you can kind of start guessing. That's the fun part about watching Gamescom live with everybody else while it's happening, because everybody's guessing at the same time. But that's my guess. I think that her name is Span. But we'll see. It's probably another play on words. That's a tool or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever. Point is, Gamescom's tight, and don't forget that we're streaming for charity. Um... We're streaming so that LGBTQIA plus individuals like me have a place on Twitch where they can hang out, make fun of video games that look whack, talk shit about video games that look good, and explain why they're excited about new games. So I hope that you're having fun, and I hope that you're entertained by the stream so far. But now that Gamescom just ended, I think that we're going to go ahead and switch over to a real video game. I haven't played anything. They've been playing all the stuff, and I've been taking a break while they do all of the, you know hands-on so I want to get hands-on too so we'll switch to a something fun and interactive and fast-paced like maybe hmm I haven't played overwatch in a while so maybe an overwatch because I like bows maybe a ghost of Tsushima because I like bows maybe hmm maybe monster hunter because I like bows or or maybe PSO2 because I like bows <laughs> it's gonna be a game with a bow in it I just don't know which one so yeah, give me like five to seven minutes, the standard sort of break time, and we'll be right back after these messages. Animal Burris? Animal Burris? Morpheus, Dorpheus, Orpheus, don't go anywhere. I'll be back. Orpheus, Porridges. Morpheus, Morpheus, go get to the buffet and Morpheus. Corpheus, Corpses, Worcestershire sauce. 